Hey everyone, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite reds for holidays or coming up. And I know everyone is going to be looking for the perfect red, but I mean, it also works out all year round. We're all looking for that perfect shade of red, and I know it can be confusing and kind of hard to decide which finish, which undertone to get. So these are some foolproof recommendations with some lip swatches, so you're going to be able to tell what they look like. And I have no doubt you're going to be able to find the perfect red for you in here. I even put on my white fluffy Christmas sweater, so definitely in the mood to share my favorite red lipsticks. Probably the most underrated lipstick that I'm going to be talking about. I feel like I never hear anyone mention these, which is kind of crazy because they're some of my all-time favorite lipsticks from drugstore. They are super pigmented creamy lipsticks that will last all day, which I feel like Usually moisturizing lipsticks don't tend to survive as well as really matte ones, but not everyone is into that really matte drying finish, but the CoverGirl Outlast long wear and moisture lipsticks are where it's at. Have you ever heard anyone mention these? Because I never hear anyone doing it. And they only have a couple shades, but they have this gorgeous classic red color. This one is the number 25, no, 925, close enough, <laughs> which is called Red Rogue. And as I was mentioning, this will last you all throughout the day. If you want to reapply just to get that shine, they're going to be still very comfortable. And they tend to stain your lips a lot. So even if you forget to reapply, there's still going to be some color on your lips. It's not one of those lipsticks that, you know, end up drying and staying in your cracks and just kind of looking kind of awful. So this one, you can go on with your night, have fun during Christmas and not having to think about it too much. And if you feel like it, you can just reapply before a picture and it won't look weird because again, some lipsticks, when you try to reapply them, they just don't go on really nicely. It's not an issue with this one. So would highly recommend these if you were looking for a great long-wearing moisturizing lipstick from the drugstore if you're still in love with liquid lipsticks me too girl me too I recommend checking my newest favorite red lipstick and it's from the Rimmel Stay Matte line. This is the liquid lip color in the color Firestarter. It's also the most affordable of the bunch and the warmest in uh, color. So if you have a warm undertone, you feel like you have more yellow in your skin tone and you feel like very often other lipsticks just don't suit you, you find them too bright or like too harsh on you. And since it's a moussey consistency, it's almost more moisturizing, less drying than some really liquidy ones. The applicator is super soft, it's one of those with two flat sides so you don't have to go back in there and get more products, you can easily apply it all over your lips in one go. It dries super quickly, it doesn't dry out your lips. I actually did a video recently where I did a wear test wearing this for like 9 hours and it lasted so well. I was not expecting it basically because I ate a really really messy wrap and there was no transfer on the wrap, on my glass of water. It stays really well, it wasn't drying out my lips. There was barely anything gone on the inside after nine hours. So very, very shocked, very impressed, and it's super affordable, it's like $5. So if you wanted to find an affordable liquid lipstick to try out for the holidays, I would definitely recommend the Rimmel one. I wanted to include some MAC lipstick in here because MAC is probably the easiest brand to find all over the world. And it's also very easy to go in store, check the colors that I'm mentioning, and then having an idea what colors might suit you, the ones that you are interested in trying. So I wanted to include four different ones. Simply because of that, I'm going to be including the arm swatches so you can see the difference in colors because they have so many reds that it's so difficult to actually choose the one for you. So I am including four shades just to give you an idea. The hardest and most painful to apply has to be MAC Ruby Roo, but it's a cold favorite for a really, really good reason. As you can see, it's a very classic red. When I think of red, this is the type of red I think of. And the finish, it's a retro matte finish, so they are really painful to apply. You have to use like little strokes or not have really dry lips like I have right now from swatching lipsticks. But it's also one of the most beautiful finish. It looks like you're wearing velvet on your lips. It's the best way to describe it. But it's also one of my favorite finish because having a lipstick in a tube that doesn't have any transfer is so difficult slash almost impossible to find. But if you have dry lips, you don't like anything that will dry out your lips, do not get this finish. But I don't mind it, so I love and own basically every color in that finish because of that. So it's a classic for a reason. 
it kind of is uncomfortable to apply, but once it's on your lips, it's awesome. So yeah, one of my all-time favorite lipstick for a good reason. Next one is called Russian Red, and this one is a matte finish, so it's a lot less drying than the Retro Matte finish, but this color is also a cult favorite for a really good reason. It's a little deeper than Ruby Woo, so I feel like some people might find Ruby Woo a little too bright for their taste. So this is the one I would recommend for those people. It's a very classic red. It will suit so many different people. It's a matte finish, so it does last all day and becomes less and less shiny because there's just a little bit of shine right now. So throughout the day, it almost becomes a little bit more of a stain on your lips. There's less and less transfer, but the color will still be there at the end of the day. So definitely another really great red to get. If you want a classic red with a little bit of a cooler undertone and some more shine, you want something that is not drying whatsoever, I would go with MAC Red. As you can see, this one does have a healthy shine to it. It's a little bit more cool tone. There's no chance this color will make your teeth yellow at all. It's very comfortable, but the satin finish are kind of in between like a really creamy lipstick and a matte finish. So it's like the best of both worlds. It won't dry out your lips, but it will still last really well throughout the day. There's transfer whenever you drink or eat, but the color will still be on your lips. I feel like very often when I hear someone mention that they can't pull off red, they have a warmer undertone and more tan to deep skin tone. And for them, I have to suggest Chili by MAC because as you can see, it's still red, but it's not as bright in your face and scary looking as the other ones. This one is super easy to wear. And because there's a touch of brown in it, it just makes it super wearable. Again, if you have a tan or like warmer skin tone, it's not as intimidating. And this one is also a matte finish, so it will last really well throughout the day, but it's not as drying and as hard to apply as a retro matte finish. So this one is definitely also underrated because not enough people mention it. But again, if you're scared of reds, it's definitely an option I would go in store and try. not do a favorite red lipstick video without talking about the Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the color Pioneer because this is one of the best reds you can find. This formula of liquid lipstick is kind of different. It is a liquid one, but when it dries, it kind of has a little bit of shine as you can still see, but it is transfer proof. So you can eat, you can drink, and it won't budge. The best thing is that it's not drying. I know a lot of people tend to associate liquid lipstick and just overall dryness, but these ones are really different. They are a little tacky for the first hour because of the moisture, but your lips will not feel dry as you're wearing them. But these will last through anything. I was actually wearing the orangey red color one day to go to a meetup. I took a plane in the morning, went to Toronto, stayed there all day, had food, had water, and then on my way back, I was actually asked at the airport what I was wearing on my lips, and the girl was shocked that I had been wearing it for like 10 hours, and pretty sure she went and purchased it. I know a lot of people were wondering how the hell am I supposed to take this off, which for some people, this is like the best thing ever, because it means you don't have to worry. If you're someone you just want to slap on a lipstick and not have to think about it the whole day, this will be perfect because it will last through all of the meals, all of drinking, all the chatting during the holidays. And once you're ready to remove it, I just use a waterproof uh, makeup remover. This one is the Garnier one and it removes it easily. So it's not like that it's impossible to remove, but you need waterproof makeup remover, which means that it will resist very well throughout the day. But it's also a little bit of a deeper color than the other ones that I mentioned, which I feel like makes it super easy to wear. I know some people are super intimidated right now, but trust me, this looks good on everyone, and I mean everyone. So if you were looking for a great lipstick uh, for the holidays, this would definitely be a recommendation. The next one is probably my all-time most recommended lipstick ever. If you're not new on my channel, you probably have heard me mention this quite a few times already, and it's the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the color 01 Always Red. And it's just one of those red that is like a classic red. It's just solid, foolproof, you can't go wrong with it. The applicator is soft, the formula is really great. It dries quickly, it's comfortable. It's like perfect quality price too. It's like 10, $15, depending where you're from. And 
you just can't go wrong with this. I've worn this every time for like 10-12 hours and it's still my lips at the end of the day. Sure, after 10 hours it's starting to be on the drying side, but I mean, it's a liquid lipstick. It doesn't transfer and I mean, you just can't go wrong with this one. So if you were looking for a great quality price liquid lipstick, I would definitely recommend this one. It's a bit warmer than let's say the Maybelline one, but it's still a pretty classic red in my opinion. So they do have also like a bunch of different reds or different colors in general. So I will be linking to the lip swatch video that I've done. Actually, any of those that I've did a lip swatch video on, I will be linking so you can Watch if there's more than one color that you're into, but this is just a really great staple in my life. I have a backup because for a while I actually lost it, completely freaked out and bought another one. I mean, it just says it all that I actually repurchased this at least once, so can't go wrong with it. I've actually purchased this for a few friends too, so. The last lipstick I wanted to mention is very different as you can see. They do have an option that is more of a classic red but this is the shade that I have and I just wanted to throw this option out there because I know not everyone is into some really pigmented lipsticks and this one is more sheer and super comfortable. It's basically a tinted lip balm and I mean during the winter I think we all need some tinted lip balms that will help our lips survive the cold and this one is the MAC Patent Lip Polish lip pencil in the color ruby and it's one of my newest favorite lipstick and it's red and I think a deeper option that is also super comfortable is always welcome during the holidays so this one is super low maintenance it actually lasts really well I feel like sometimes tinted lip balms you have to constantly reapply them and they almost leave your lips feeling drier than they were to begin with but this one does leave a stain but it will last really well like I'm always super impressed I have this in my purse and a few of the other shades too and I just throw them on, you don't really need a mirror anyway. And I will wear this for a couple of hours and just completely forget that I'm wearing it, but I still kind of look cute and my lips are still moisturized. So if you were uh, in need of a break from the lipsticks during the holidays, I would definitely give a shot to these patent lip polish. So that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section which one of these caught your eyes. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it helps other people find it. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos and I will be linking on the screen some other videos that I've done that I highly recommend you check out and I will see you in my next one. Bye.